Gemini CLI. It's a new open source AI agent from Google that runs through your terminal. Yes, you heard it right. And this is probably going to be more useful for developers like programmer or something. So it does almost the same thing as the normal Gemini does on the website or application. But now you can integrate this into your terminal or basically launch this through the terminal and do crazy things. It is not just meant for devs, okay? Anyone can use it, okay? Like they're generating videos, uh, images here, doing the cool things, okay? <laughs> or like if you're a programmer, let's say, you can integrate this into your programming software like VS Code or something, okay? And this is going to be super, super useful, again, for the programmers. Okay, so let's actually install this. Okay, so to install this, uh, we're going to click on this link. This is the official blog post for the Gemini CLI. Okay, so if you want to learn more about it, you can go here and yeah, get more info. So let's click on this. This will take us to the official GitHub page for the Gemini CLI. Again, this is free and open source. Anyone can you know, look up into the code and contribute or even fork and all that. They even have a Gemini logo for terminal. That's cool. And one more thing, you can use this on any operating system, at least on the major operating systems like Windows, Mac, Linux. I think Linux users are going to be very happy. Finally, they have AI for their operating system that runs through terminal and most Linux users love terminal. I know that much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So to install this, we need Node.js version 18 or higher. So this is the official website. From here, you can select the operating system and install this on your system. Like I'm on Windows, so I'm going to select Windows. You can select Mac, you can select Linux and install it. We can either install this through the PowerShell or we can get the installer. There is also a Mac installer. Okay. Is there an installer for Linux? Oh, there is a binary. I think for Linux, just go for the terminal one, okay? It's the standard on Linux. So I'm gonna select the Windows and I'm gonna get the Windows installer. And guess what? I have this thing already installed actually. And make sure that the Node.js version is higher than version 18. So you can just go for the LTS version, which is version 22, okay? I, I just downloaded and installed LTS one actually. So just install this as you install the other programs, just hit next, 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 and you'll be good to go. Now you can use any terminal that you want. Okay. So like, for example, in Windows, I can run the PowerShell or I can use the command prompt. Or if I'm using WSL, I can use the WSL one. I'm just going to go with the old fashioned command prompt. Okay. Because this is the only terminal that works almost all the time for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. PowerShell doesn't work. I don't know, I, I need to set up something in the PowerShell. That's what it says. So once you have the Node.js installed and uh, have the terminal opened, run one of these commands, okay? There are two ways to install this, npx or nmp. Uh, I don't know which one is better, to be honest, I'm not a programmer. So feel free to suggest me which one is better in the comments, okay? So for now, I'm just gonna go with the npm one, okay? Because I think I have used npm before, so still don't know how that works. Installing this isn't that difficult, actually. There are only a few commands, like just one command and then uh, one required software. That's it, okay? So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it in here and it's just gonna install it and you see that the slash is dancing there that means it's working so it's gonna take some time and it will say added 431 packages in 20 seconds uh okay so everything is done now it will auto complete the command prompt with gemini so that's how you launch the gemini once you install this so it just right there gemini and hit enter now it's gonna take some time i have actually already tested this once so when you install this and launch this for the first time it will actually ask you to uh, select the theme which you can do even after you selected the theme so slash theme enter and this is the next thing that appears after installation so this is the default theme you can select another one like this one if you like that okay i just went with the default because that 
looks good okay <laughs> and there are many themes to choose from and you can change them at any time so i'm going to select the default theme and next it will ask you to either sign in with google account or you can use the gemini api from google ai studio so there is also a link in here okay so you can go here and uh, okay accept everything if anything pops up and then click on create api key and it will give you the key and uh, you can use either gemini api key in here to use this or you can simply sign in using the google account there are limitations with signing in with the google account okay like you can't generate images videos so if you want to do advanced stuffs like generating images videos you have to use the google ai studio or vortex ai key okay and there are limitations on free version like 60 model requests per minute 1000 model requests per day so this is free of charge so if you want to do again more advanced stuffs you probably need a subscription or yeah I mean APS subscription or something it's actually pretty simple yeah that's all you have to do to actually install this and again this is a free and open source at least the AI agent thingy <laughs> okay so now once you have everything set up you can ask whatever you want and here you can see it is using the Gemini 2.5 Pro uh, model so now you can ask whatever you want to ask like it's basically a Gemini but in terminal okay let's say uh, help me with draft gameplay <laughs> why not okay <laughs> I I don't know what to ask okay so this is a little bit slower i mean a lot slower than using actual gemini on website or application probably because it's a free version and you know this is more useful for the programmers and all that so yeah maybe google wants you to pay for the api and all that so here is the output of course uh what do you need help with in minecraft are you a new player or are you looking for help with something specific and all that so this works as the other ais work <laughs> okay so the only difference here is that it is more powerful for the programmers and you can integrate this with your uh, programming software like vs code or something and uh, for normal use i mean if you are willing to pay for the api keys or the advanced ai features yeah this will be as good as the other options like website or application i tried it just because it, this looks cool okay especially i'm pretty sure linux users are very happy to see this <laughs> i don't know maybe some linux users don't like ai i know that much too yeah but they do like terminal maybe they'll they'll use it yeah we kind of have like official official ai agent for linux 2 now like this works in terminal and this works on any operating system so that's cool i don't know what else to do actually to be honest i'll be using the web version for most users web version or the application will be enough yeah that's that hope you enjoyed it if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something about the gemini cli sure go ahead and do the comment and we can start a conversation in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye